I'm over here and overwhelmed me You write checks that my ass can't cash I bid to live the Hey babes, I'm back and I'm back with how to manage your money as a stripper <coughs> uh, To start it off, um, the few things you will need If you didn't watch my how to, ta uh, how to do your taxes how to do your taxes as a stripper video. Um, it's basically the same thing, but I do have a big accordion folder that I use for like general finance things. Um, so I have my small accordion folder, which I use for receipts. Um, the big one I use for um, when I like take out my, like when this gets too full, I put my receipts in one like folder. I have like my bank statements, um, bills coming up, um, and like anything that like had to do with like money goes into here um, and then I have my organizer which basically I just write down what I make every night or like any sort of income I have coming towards like so at the end of the week we get a check from Zach so I also put that in so it's like any sort of income coming in I put it in here and then I also keep track of what I spend my money on even if it's weed <laughs> even if it's a pack of blunts I usually write it down in here people shit on me at work because I'm like wait I gotta write it down so, um, I really do try really hard to keep track of, like, all my spending habits in here. Um, but, like, later on I'll go into why that's so important. Um, but those are basically what you really would need to, I have a safe as well and a bank account. Those are, like, side notes and extras, but, like, I don't know, I didn't think I needed to mention those. Um. <laughs> uh, But, first you need to figure out your monthly expenses. This way you, like, know where your money needs to go and what money you have extra. <coughs> I find that doing that first helps me not run into the issue of me missing bills that aren't, like, directly taken out of my account that I have to, like, go out of my way to pill, at pill, pay. Um, it helps me keep track of those and know when they're coming up. Um, <coughs> I got a question about strippers having personal time, and I feel like it's not that we have personal time, like, we just have a lot of personal time. Um, it also depends on the girl, what club they work at. Some clubs allow you to come in when you want to, leave when you want to, and just, like, pay, depending. Um, my club, I work, like, a six to seven hour shift normally. Um, five to one, I don't know how many hours that is, and I don't want to do the math right now. And that's, like, set. Like, I can't leave earlier unless, like, something happens that I need to leave earlier and I can't come late unless something happens that I need to, like, come late. Um, and I usually work, like, three to six days a week depending on the week. But that also depends on the girl. Um, one of the girls that I work with, she's, like, got it down to, like, because she has other sources of income that she only needs to work at the club six days a month. Yes. Because she always like, no, I um, don't want to give up one of my six days whenever I ask her to, like, cover a shift or something like that. But, like, certain girls, like, it just depends on your situation. But because we have the freedom to make our own schedule, that is what gives us more personal time. It's not like a 9 to 5 where you just have to, uh, be to work 7 to 3 every single day out of the week. You really have a choice of when you want to work. Um, even, like, with my schedule being a schedule... I have, cho like, I can set it. Like, it's all up to me. Like, Richard doesn't tell me when I need to work. He, It's just whenever I want to work, I can work. I just have to schedule it in advance. Um, and with that, after you figure out your monthly expenses, <coughs> figure out how much you want to put to, well, figure out how many, like, how many days you want to work that month as well as your monthly expenses. You can, once you figure out like when bills are due, when you have to pay them by, you can kind of align when, like what weeks you have to work more, what weeks you can work less days, and you can like, de like give yourself that freedom and know your bills are going to be paid. Um, so that, like planning out your expenses after, well, planning out your schedule after you plan out your expenses is definitely the way to go because you have a better idea of what you need to actually have that month. You're like, oh, I know I'll be able to make this much for that bill by then. So it's like, it gives you a little leadway for freedom to set your own schedule. Um, keep track of 
what you're spending your money on. So that would be the organizer. It doesn't even have to be like this one actually like gives you like little sections and breaks it down like date, like description of what you're spending your money on and blah, blah, blah. Um, it doesn't have to do all that. You can literally use like a simple notebook and just keep track of what you're making every single night and then what you're spending your money on. Keep tracking of what you spend your money on helps you <coughs> keep from spending like unnecessary expenses. You can go back and say, I spent a shit ton of money on weed this week. Maybe next week I'll cut down. Like it shows you where all your money's going and how to better put it towards better use, basically. And then keeping track of what you make from every shift basically helps you. So next month when you go to plan out your schedule, you can be like, oh, I didn't make enough for that bill that week. I need to add another shift in. Oh, I made a shit ton of money that week. <laughs> I worked too many shifts. I can actually take another day off and go do something I want to do. And I don't have to work all four days. I can only work three days that week. So knowing how much you made gives you a better estimate of what you're coming home with for the next like month coming up. Um, also, a good point, like this is just like a good finance advice. Try to put 5 to 20% of money away into your savings account, into your safe, like just away for like a rainy day or anything. Um, just because it... It helps out. Like, it, we don't have someone telling us that we need to put our money towards anything. We don't have someone taking out, like, Social Security or anything like that for us. <coughs> so we kind of have to do that for ourselves. So taking 5 to 20% out is just helping yourself out in the future. 5, I say take 5% on a low night. So if you make, like, $100 that night, 5% is just $20 out of that night. And no offense, on a low night anyway, you're not planning to spend that money on anything but gas like gas and like other small expenses like it's not going to be a lifesaver that hundred dollars so putting twenty dollars is definitely going to add up for the future though so I definitely advise putting five to twenty percent um, into a savings account and with another note if you didn't watch my how to do your tax video um, freaking have an IRA account because that is like a 401k plan but basically for yourself and you like, I don't know, I don't know how it works, but it's just like a self 401k plan. It's not through like another company. And as strippers, we don't have people just trying to give us 401ks. Like no boss is just doing that for a stripper. Um, so we kind of have to do it on our own. And you can have your savings account attached to your IRA account. And they can literally just take weekly or monthly deposits out of your savings account and put it in there. And that's like... A literally like a retirement plan that you can't touch which is really good for me because I like money I can't touch because I will fucking touch it um, and <coughs> that is also tax deductible I said that in my how to do your tax video but if you didn't see that <laughs> um, it's tax deductible so it definitely helps out when you go to do your taxes and in the long run like you just have money getting put away that you can't touch <laughs> um so how I pay off bills with me already setting it up monthly I usually take a group of bills and pay like set it up weekly so this week I'm gonna pay my car insurance put this amount towards rent and pay like two other bills and for yeah so like four I literally try to like knock out a bill a week like not a week uh, a day at this point because then like, my first two weeks is literally just all me knocking out bills. And then the last two weeks of the month, I just get to put all that money towards savings and spending money. Um, and, like, a lot of my bills are due within, like, the first two weeks. <laughs> so it kind of just, that's when I pay a lot of bills. But, so if I have, like, a $100 night and I have, let me see, what's, like, a low bill? My gem membership. My me uh, gem membership's like $31. Um, so that night I will knock out my $31 gem membership. That will leave me $70 for gas. $20 to put into my savings account. And if you like break it down like that, not only are you knocking out like check, that's one thing cleared. Like it's like one like 
checked and your little list of things to check off, you can, like, it just feels, it's, I don't know, at one point I was putting money, like, oh, I'm putting $15 towards this bill, $15 towards this bill, and it just felt like it was taking me so long to get towards each bill. Like, by the end of the week, sometimes, like, unless it was, like, a small bill, like, I wouldn't have the whole bill, and I wouldn't have any bills paid off. Like, it would just be like, oh, I have this amount to put towards that bill, but knocking it off each, like, knocking one bill off each day, since we do have, like, such a, like, huge amount of money coming home with, it definitely helps out, and I feel like that's a better way to go than putting money towards um, several, uh, several bills each day. Knocking one off each day is a better option. I hope that made sense. I hope I didn't, like, I don't know, throw that off. I'll try to edit, like, parts that didn't make sense out of it. But, um, I like that, and clearing them out early leaves you with extra time at the end of the month to actually use money for yourself. Like, you can do that trip that you really want to do. Like, oh my god, I totally forgot to mention, so if you guys live in, um, New York, and you guys fuck with Snow the Product, she has a concert there June 12th at, I don't know where it is, but I'm going, and I'm so fucking excited, so if you guys fuck with her... Like check out her tour dates because she's on tour right now and I'm so fucking excited. But yes, that was a side note. But you can put money towards something fun like a Snow Product concert because her tickets are really cheap. I think they're like $20 and then I get meet and greet tickets for $90. So they're really cheap. Like definitely check out Snow the Product. Um, but yes, <laughs> you can have extra money to do shit like that. Um... I think I got all my points for that. That's just basically how to like manage your money and like help pay off bills, make sure your bills are paid and have like money towards savings and help reach financial goals like oh I want to have $500 in my savings account by the end of the month. That's like the steps you should take to reach goals like that. Some also good apps to use. If you're not into, like, writing things down and you're more like a mobile person and you, you, like, do everything on your phone, I totally understand that. Like, I was like that for a point, and I still go back and forth because I like the, well, I like these two apps that, um, I was using. Um, but for figuring out your monthly expenses, there's the app Fudget. I linked that in my How to Do Your Tax video. But that app, like, helps you put in your monthly expenses, and, like, you can, like, check off when you pay it, um... You can keep track of, like, how much you're, like, what you're spending your money on there, too. And it shows, like, if you're overspending, like, if you're spending. Like, it just shows you, like, a whole bunch of shit. So definitely check out the Fudget app. Um, and for figuring out, well, also for, like, another, like, keeping track of your income. The Tipsy app keeps tracks of, like, how much tips you make. Well, your, like, nightly income. So just, you just, like, type it in and your hours, and it shows you, like, your hourly wage, like, if you're making, like, what you should be. Because, <laughs> like, I hate when I'm just, like, that was, like, minimum wage. Like, that was not okay. <laughs> um, so it shows you that and, like, how much you're making hourly to kind of make sense of everything. Um, so I definitely like the Tipsy app for that reason. I will have those linked down in the, ah, in the description box. Um, I also wanted to mention if you guys were interested in me doing like a full work week, work, damn that's like a tongue twister, work, work week vlog on like my end of the night synopsis of like how much I made, like what bills I have to put it towards, um, and like do like a whole work week <laughs> version, um, not like a whole like stripper vlog like the night at the club, but just like the money like portion of it and like a challenge version of it like I have to make sure like $500 is getting put towards my savings account by the end of the week and like not only that it's more interactive with you guys because you can join and try to do it along with me so if you guys are interested in me doing a video like that leave it in the comments below but other than that thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe bye guys